in uh, the Thornhill Medical Center. A group of family doctors have agreed to participate in our research study looking at how genetics can help the doctor write a prescription with more information about what might be the right drug and the right dose for this uh, particular patient. This has never been done before. Genetic testing for medications in primary care. The brain represents uh, a mysterious and unexplored territory. Some say you know, it's the most complicated object in the universe with computer technology and our genetics and the good clinical care, we can figure out the blueprint of their brain and uh, start to make new discoveries that might lead to um, new medications that don't have these uh, nasty side effects. By having this genetic test, we will be able to right off the bat know which medicines will work for them and which ones won't. Basically in a green, yellow, red, go, caution, stop type method. It's not really science fiction, it's leading edge science because it's happening right here, right now. And this taking of genetic material is just the beginning of a lot of stuff we're going to have happen in the future. And whereas right now you have a medical alert bracelet that says you're allergic to penicillin or that you're a diabetic, soon you'll be showing up in the emergency department with a little microchip that says, these are the medicines I can take for certain conditions, these are the medicines that I shouldn't take for certain conditions, and it will allow people to be able to get personalized medicine much better. It's not sci-fi, it's happening right now. It gives me the confidence in knowing that I'm on the best medication for me. I know that there's science behind uh, the choice of meds for me. It's hard to get these lab tests with DNA and the, these very complicated genetic findings to deliver that to patients in a way that's understood, that works, and we've done that and it's great.